morning. It is 3.30 a.m. and I am here at the Maple Pass Trailhead. Today I am going to be making an attempt at Black Peak. This is supposed to be one of the top climbs in Washington State to an incredible North Cascades summit. This is going to be beautiful. It is prime larch season. The fall colors are going to be insane and this trail is going to be challenging, but it is going to be so much fun. I am excited. I got a lot of hiking to do because I'm going to be doing 11 and a half miles and 5,000 feet of elevation gain. Whew. Gonna hike till sunrise? Let's go. I give you Black Peak and Wing Lake and what is possibly the most gorgeous alpine sunrise I have seen in my life. <laughs> I just spent the last uh, three and a half hours hiking in the dark and uh, look at that. Oh my god, this, wow, oh my gosh, oh, oh, this is, holy crap, this is amazing, oh. it is such a boost after you've been hiking in the dark for hours to just get the sun, like, oh, I suddenly have so much energy, and look at these beautiful large trees, huh. This is my first proper break spot, and then I'm going to climb that mountain. All right, so I'll show you my future. So I only have a mile left on this thing. However, I gotta climb 2,000 feet. So, trail hooks around the lake, gets up to this little pass up here, and then it just takes the ridge up to the summit of Black Peak. I've had my eye on Black Peak ever since I saw it from Maple Pass Loop a couple years ago, and whew, I'm hoping to be up there in under three hours. We'll see. Um, it's gonna be a steep ascent, but it's supposed to be Fun. So this is gonna be like mostly class two with some class with some interesting class three uh, scrambling. So I'm excited to get up there and uh, this truly is the best sunrise. Like, come on, look at how those trees are glowing. Oh my gosh! But I had my break and I had second breakfast. My Snickers bar. So I am all fueled up and. Uh, Next goal is to get on top of that pass to the final ridge scramble. I am 
leaving the large trees behind because I'm getting above the tree line. It is all rock from here, but wow, the summit looks so close. We'll see how close it actually is time-wise, but wow, the closer I get to it, like the less intimidating it looks. But I'll see how I'm feeling at the top of that notch because it's gonna get steep now. I've got another under 500 feet before I gain the notch. It's very doable, it's just, whew, yeah, this, uh, this climb is steep, but I love this part where you kind of get above the tree line and it's kind of like a moonscape, just rocks and mountain, but uh, that's where I'm going. That's where I'm going and then take the ridge, that's the summit. Oh, I'm actually making decent time, um, which I'm excited for because I would very much like to hang out on the summit for a little bit. Oh, but I'm feeling good. This is incredible, as I'm sure you can see. And oh, I'm going to get that ridge. made it to the top of the pass. 8,000 freaking feet. Less than 900 feet to go and huh. oh my gosh this feels good. Holy crap. Look at this view. Oh, Glacier Peaks looking beautiful. But now I have less than a thousand freaking feet to go. I am so pumped. Oh my gosh. Um, and now begins the scramble. So I came all the way up this. This is hellaciously steep. And then the scramble just takes the ridge to the summit. So I am going to begin that. Uh, get my helmet, put on some more sunscreen, and get on up this thing because I got summit fever now. <laughs> All right, got the helmet on, getting up this ridge. This is supposed to be a pretty fun scramble and the final summit block is gonna be spicy, so. <sighs> but the views are supposed to be incredible. <sighs> this is supposed to be a North, this is a North Cascades classic and it's definitely living up to that so far. Whew, less than a thousand feet to go. Making my way up the uh, gully behind me, and so far it's been pretty straightforward. Um, but I am so close to gaining the ridge. I just need to get up this, and I'll have the summit within my sights. It's like right there. I can taste it. Um, I have noticed the elevation a little bit. Um, I'm above 8,000 feet. I'm going to almost 9,000 feet, so. I am noticing, you know, it's not too bad though. I, uh, I deal with elevation pretty good, but 
you know, you start noticing a little bit. Like, whew, I am indeed above 8,000 feet now. But, so, came up this, and then just have to get up this bit, and then the ridge. has to offer. This is honestly uh, like, oh my gosh, I wasn't sure I was gonna make it up here and I just kept pushing because I was like, I'm gonna be kicking myself if I don't because I have the energy, I have the time. <sighs> this is my favorite summit. Like, th this is actually my favorite summit. It This just knocked everything else out of the water. <laughs> <sighs> I can't believe it. Uh, two years ago, I hiked Maple Pass Loop and I saw this peak and I thought, I wonder what I'd have to do to get up on top of that. 
Well, two years of training and experience later, I am on top of the darn peak. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna eat. I'm enjoying at least half an hour up here. I don't care how late I get home. I am getting to know this mountain. Well, it is windy, but I will give my the tour as best I can. So, that right there is the summit of Black Peak. And then, looking further north, we have Mount Baker, Mount Shuxon, and then we're able to see like the whole part of the North Cascades, the North Pickets, into Canada, some amazing peaks. And then this is the fall summit, continuing the ridge. There is Wing Lake and Lewis Lake, surrounded by golden larch trees. That is Cortillo Peak, and this is like the Maple Pass area, so I had to come all the way up this, you can see the highway. And then we're looking further east, more of the North Cascades. And then I can see the tip of Bonanza Peak. And of course, the other volcano we can see today is Glacier Peak. In case you're wondering, this is what the final scramble up Black Peak looks like. It's got exposure, and this is not like the easiest. This, there is a class three route, and I got it up it, but it is tricky to find, and you gotta check all your holds, but it's doable. It's definitely doable, but it is absolutely not uh, something I would recommend to beginners. Um, but it's pretty fun. The rock is solid for the most part. Um, the rock is pretty solid, the holds are fun, so. <sighs> I spent an amazing solitary time on one of Washington's classic climbs and <sighs> had an awesome break up there, but I am heading back down. And I'll film a little bit of the descent, not too much, because I gotta focus. Um, and I'll check back in when I get to Wing Lake. Um, don't go anywhere because the larch tour has not yet happened because I hiked in the dark and if you want to see all those beautiful larches I'm going to get to hike through that's my future <sighs> so I go down this down a gully you can't see it that's the pass I go down all this to Wing Lake, weave through the larches to Lewis Lake, cross the Talus, up to Heather Pass, and then down to the parking lot. It's a big day. It's gonna be a lot, but I can already tell you it's worth it. So I'm gonna get on this and be very careful on this descent, especially not too bad. Um, so I feel pretty good about doing this. Yes, yeah, stay tuned. The larches are coming. Well, as you can see, I survived. That was probably the hardest climb I've ever done, and it's not over. But I am back off the pass, back off the scramble, and now I have a winding trail through these beautiful golden larches. So I am just going to do an extended larch tree montage because they are peak. I timed this perfectly, um, and I'm just going to enjoy wandering back before I get to the boulder field from hell to get back up Heather Pass. But I'm going to enjoy the large trees um, 
before I worry about the boulder field. Anyway, I'm very excited also because Lewis Lake is so pretty and I didn't get to see it up close because I passed it in the dark this morning. So, larch trees are the main event now. don't think I have seen a bigger larch tree. The, this is a massive one. Look at the size of this thing. That is wider than me for sure. Um, oh wow, that is an old, old tree. In this section between Wing and Lewis Lake, there's so many like super old large trees. I don't think I've seen ones that are thicker or taller than than here and that's kind of unusual just because they're like a high alpine um, tree so they're subject to a lot of storms and avalanches and all kinds of stuff so they usually get knocked over when they get too big but these ones must be in like a little protected area or something from the elements which is really cool to see. I say goodbye to Lewis Lake and now I have to begin the part of this that I've been dreading. The most annoying talus field I have to cross and then I have to go up again. I have to gain like five, six hundred feet of boulders to get back to the top of Heather Pass. After a long day, up is the last thing I want to do, but I must. So I filter water from the lake and I'm just gonna put my head down and get it done. Um, I'm probably not gonna film too much more. I'll film some shots of large trees and mountains on the way back down, but I don't wanna film on the boulder fields because that's gonna be such a pain. So I will show you the sights and hopefully make it back down to my car. I made it to the top of Heather Pass. I have less than two miles to go back down to my car. I am done with climbing. This is the boost I need. That is the single most amount of elevation gain I've done in a day. And whew, yeah, I'm feeling it, but oh my gosh, I am motivated now. That took me 11 and a half hours, but it was so, so worth it. The North Cascades demands a very steep price for entry, and it is so worth paying. <laughs> I, my legs are not happy, but mentally I feel fantastic. I'm like wired or something, just high off the mountains. Um, I will be having some caffeine for the drive home, but 
Wow, this is challenging. Um, this is probably the single hardest climb I have done. It is technical. The terrain is challenging almost start to finish. And it's it's an undertaking. Um, and you can do it in a day. You can do it as an overnight. Um, it's definitely one you want. Plenty of scrambling experience. There's exposure. There's all kinds of stuff with this one. So um, you definitely want to have work up to this one but oh my gosh if it's within your skill set oh black peak that is my new favorite mountain top 100 peak the north cascades i got to spend the day in my favorite place i could not be happier and now i get to enjoy a beautiful drive through the north cascades on my way home Thank you so much for watching, and here are my favorite pictures from the climb today. Enjoy.